Hi there everyone, my name is Mindyam. I'm a professional illustrator and graffiti artist. And today I thought I'd show you my latest character. It's a biker chick. And uh, this is the final result. And now I'm going to show you a quick time lapse on how I did her from scratch. Check it out. <music> Okay, so the first sketch I made, um, it's gonna change radically um, because what I do is I draw the sketch, uh, a pretty crude sketch, and then I send it, send it with the client and see if I, uh, she want any changes. And often they do. So when I get changes back, I make a new sketch and this goes back and forth. Uh, sometimes three times so I didn't record the other sketches I just made his first one with a uh, with a bent or crooked uh, handlebars while she wanted uh, straight bars as in the regular mountain bikes or dirt bikes whatever you call them um, so in the digital sketch here, you see that I have the latest sketch, although not exactly the latest yet, but it, it's the straight handlebars. But I also uh, drew draw new uh, shoes and a couple other things as well. You're gonna see the new shoe pop in in a bit. So my character style is more cartoony than trying to paint a regular human being. So what you want to think about if you if you want to illustrate like this is that you have to emphasize the hands and face and make everything else much smaller. And the same goes for the bike there. I don't know how a bike looks like from memory. I couldn't paint that, but I know the most iconic, the, the most um, recognizable silhouette of a bike. The big wheel, the handlebars. So that's the only thing I need to paint and the rest uh, the the beholder can figure out by himself and that's also important when you draw anything that you only need to draw the most essential parts of the thing and the rest can be a total blur it's still gonna be visually appealing okay so now I'm um, uh, putting on the colors for the face, face there I gave her some rosy cheeks and also this is not the final colors used in the design she ordered either so this is more of an initial color scheme that I send over for approval. Okay, so I have the graffiti text design already done. And now it's just the implementation of the character to fit the design. So I've made the splatter and the drips already made so I can easily just fit them all together. And if you're interested in getting your own graffiti design made, of course, check out my website.
for that. So she wanted a bit of dirt in her face, more gritty look. And that's the final result right there. Cool, huh? Add some final glows to the whole thing, make it pop. And what I often do is I send one version with a white background and one with a darker background, just to see the contrast of the whole thing. All right, so I think that is it. That's a wrap. And uh, if you want to get your own character made by me with your own ideas, check out my website at customgraffiti.net. And remember to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.